welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about four major tickers that are in my bearish bullish path. And I've been bullish on them most of the time. And I got a new one to add and we're going to talk about it. And we're going to talk about Boeing, BYND, Tesla, and NKLA. And what a trade that was today. So let's go straight into the Boeing ticker. I'm going to pull up the website. So you know, Boeing's off to a good start. They're really excited about the market recovery. I'm getting called back to go to work. I own small business. People are wanting to go back to work. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to plan my vacation for September. And let's see what happened here on Boeing today. Boeing soars after buy rating from Seaport Global. And that happened about an hour ago. And just all kinds of you know, this thing's been way over stores sold, but it looks to me like it's really on a rebound. And, you know, I, I bet you old Warren Buffett's kind of shaking his head right now, wondering why he sold all them airlines. So let's go ahead and um, look at the chart. We're going to pull up the Boeing chart. Today it bounced off the 200 EMA most of the day. And then at the end of the day, it kind of snuggled up against it. And then we had a little bitty bounce into the closing. So, you know, we called this out pretty good in the room today with help from, from the team. We do had it did have a descending pattern that I called out in the room, and I said we're going to get ready for consolidation. And that's exactly what happened here when this pattern, and I noticed it right about in here when the pattern started. And it already started. I mean, we had that lower high. So let's think about where we're going to take this trade now. And I'm going to be looking at the 20-day. I don't think the 20-day is going to tell us jack. So let's go to the year. So we come up here to this gap. We got a gap right here, right around 237. Right there, 237.70. Well, let me see here. Let me magnify. Well, I can't magnify it up. I'll go up to this one here. And I'll magnify this up if I can. Nope. Okay. Bam, right there. So we got a resistance at 237.78. And let's go ahead and we got a long, a gap fill between that 237.78 and that 253.32. So what we got to do is hit this here resistance level at 237.78 and have a pullback. And I think that pullback could be no lower than 222.79. So let's see if we can pull this up on the 20 day and see what it looks like. So yeah, we're going to hit that 237.78 and maybe bounce past it. It still has a lot of momentum. I mean, this has been a wonderful trade. And support level, we're going to have two of them. We're going to have this 228.50, and then we're going to have this 222.79. So that's going to be, and, and, and definitely, if it doesn't hold that, we'll pull back to this 218. But I want to keep that 222.79 going, uh, hold that, and break this resistance of 237.78. But we're getting up here in a spot where... Um, about the time Corona hit, we had the dip. Let me go back to this yearly chart and have and take another look at it. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about. We'll get this. Well, it was a little bit before that. I mean, the crash started happening right around the 350 level, and this was back, back on, back in January. And then we had the solid let day breakdown here at 89 bucks, calling it a strong buy in the room. And then we, we hit this little resistance level where this other gap was right in here. See where it stopped at the gap, and then pulled back and kind of descended a little bit. And here we've had the great run. So if we can get past this gap, we've got one to fill. If not, we're going to pull back and find a little bit, a, bit, a little bit of support. And then go ahead and continue and break up on past that level to 253. And the next one we're going to talk about is going to be bind. And you know what bind is? A lot of my... A lot of my um, friends out on social media call it fake meat. But I think if you think about it moving to China and that deal they made with China, you got one point, what, four billion mouths to feed. And, you know, and I guarantee you, every one of them is going to try it out. They're going to say, hey, yeah, let's go try the fake meat. So I'm bullish on that one. Let's see what the, what the, uh, what inspired this stock today? Beyond Meat stock breaks out after powerful on this new China distribution deal. 
So that was a big deal right there. Beyond Meat is making a fresh upside breakout. How to play it. Someone trying to tell you how to play it. Beyond Meat is expanding to China. I mean, this is big news. This is huge news. This is a big catalyst to feed more mouths. And they are going worldwide. There's no doubt. And with the beef shortage and everything going on, this was the perfect catalyst for this thing to start running. So let's go ahead and bring her up to the chart. I'm going to put bind in here. Okay, we're going to go to bind. I almost feel like I need to erase all these lines in here. It's had such a great run from this bottom down here, right around the 48 level. I mean, Vegas and I called this out when this thing was down at around the 45, 48 level, and it had that huge run up here to 239. So I, we're, we're, we're going to be bullish on it. We have a real hard resistance up here right around the 173.95 area. If it does reach up to that, that'll be a pretty good little sweep. If not, we can probably hit this 168.94. And then we're going to pull up the 20-day and see if we can find anything that maybe would give us a catalyst of support levels. And the only thing I can see right now is these three, we had these three huge, well actually we had four of them, but we had four huge white soldiers right here. Those are those big candles, big engulfing candles. So I'm thinking maybe right in here would be your support level, but that's a $20 dip. So we're just going to have to kind of go with the resistances that I had that we broke on the way up. And, they, and you're willing to stop this uh, video at any time and write these numbers down. But every time it breaks a resistance, I call that old resistance a new support. So if it fails and it pulls back, that's going to be a solid support. If it fails and pulls back, that's going to be a solid support at 152.03. And then maybe, you know, if it gets on down to this channel right in here, that's going to be a strong buy. And I'm going to say that between 146.52 and 147.26. And let's color that in so I can remember that. strong buy if it dips down there. We've got this thing going on and breaking up to $200. So that's going to be bind, fake meat, sorry bears. So let's go ahead and go to Tesla. Tesla's going to be our next, well let me, let me call this out one more time. Low support right around 146.52 to 147.26. Your third support right down here at 149.61. Your second one right down here at 152.99, 153. Your first one at 157.03. And then we got the resistance to break at 164.04 to bring it up to this newer high of 168, 169. And then the next one we're going to talk about is one of my other favorite ones. Really, it's actually my favorite one when it comes to teasing the bears. And let me go. We don't need to do that. I already got her up here. Tesla! Tesla, Elon says he wants his team to get back to work. They're going to go to the moon, and they're going to go to Mars. So they're going to start building them rocket ships. They're going to pull a little bit of space on us. So, you know, I'm very excited with Elon. He's one of my favorite CEOs right now of all time. I do believe we are going to hit that 1,000 maybe this week, if not next. But, you know, this thing's really got some momentum. Yeah, we can't deny that. So let's go ahead and pull. Let's see why this thing run up so good. Oh, what's this? Tesla China sales bounce back in May. They're on pace to deliver 100,000 vehicles in China this year, according to the one analyst. And I believe it. I believe it. I mean, they sold, what, 11,000 in May? So that's pretty, that's a Model 3. Excellent, excellent. And then, you know, he's, he's just moving on. He wants to go to Mars and go to the moon. So let's go ahead and pull up the chart and look at Tesla. Tesla is one of my favorite teasing the bears. Love teasing the bears with this thing. We've been calling this out ever since it was down at $180. And we're, gonna, we're at 955 into after hours. 955.89. So this thing is going to go to a grand. Let's count on that, okay? Let's count on that. 
We'll bring it up here to right about. Well, let's just go ahead and put these support lines in here right now. I got to change this window. Then I'm gonna get me a drink of water. There's a support line right there, and a support line right there. So we got a target of a grand. That's already in our head. Okay. Any kind of pullback on this stock is going to be magnificent. Well, I'm going to pull up the yearly chart and show you that I think we did break the yearly resistance. Nope. We have a 968.99 yearly resistance that we need to break. So keep that number in mind. 968.99, 969 is going to be a hard resistance. And if we can break that double top, because we are trying to break this one right here, if we can break that double top, we're going to take it to a grand. If the momentum keeps up. We keep scaring the bears off, so they're going to start chickening out, and they might follow us on this trade. We did have a nice bounce off that 200, as you see right here. And ever since then, it's just ran nuts. And we called this reverse back here when, when, it, when, when it hit this support level right here. You see what I'm talking about right here? So that was a pretty solid support level. So Tesla, we're going to go ahead and pull this up on the 20-day and just see if I missed anything. Nah. Nah. I mean, if this thing gets real nasty, 919, 920, yeah, let's make it 920. That is if it gets real nasty. If not, we'll pull back in maybe this third support level here, right around the 932.62 area. That's going to be your third support, or your, first, or your second. And this one here is going to be your third strong buy at 920.36. If not, we'll break that resistance of 955.45. And then I'm going to pull up that yearly chart one more time and give you that last number of 968.99 to one grand. But one thing about Tesla, it did not care or have a worry about this new company coming out. And I'm going to go ahead and show that to you right now. And they really had a great move today, and that's this... Nicola or Nicola or somebody can pronounce that better for me, but they want to operate a zero emissions operation with all their diesel trucks and then they got boats and they power sports and then they got all kinds of kinds of neat stuff on it. So this is going to be another exciting trade to be watching. And I'm seriously N I K O L A. And let's see what the news is about on it today. It did have a merger. And that's what really started it to bouncing. We got an up upcoming investors conference coming up. And this was three days ago. So it really had the big breakout today. And it was just very impressive. But uh, yeah, um, this is going to be a competitor with Tesla. And they think this is another... Uh, where did I read that out? I think I read... I read somewhere where it was going to be... They were comparing it with the money that it could bring in, and it's like up in the billions, maybe a trillion dollars eventually. And that's going to be, and the ticker name is um, NKLA. And let's go ahead and pull up the stock right now and have a good look at it. NKLA. So it is a competitor with Tesla, and that'll be cool. Tesla's way advanced. Always remember, Tesla will be way more advanced than this. In KLA, but it'd be another one that could probably bounce a couple hundred bucks. Let's go ahead and type this ticker in. I'm going to pull this up to the uh, 20 day. So, this, I mean, this is just a beautiful trade. How this thing just bounced and took off today, and I was calling it, I missed it. You know, I didn't miss, I missed it until it got right about in here at 57 bucks. Then we had them three back, and look here after hours, we run all the way to 94.64. And this is on the day, 20 day, one hour. So let's bring this up to the uh, 10 day and see if I can see anything different here. I'm going to try to find some support levels. This is really a killer breakout. So 59.16. I'm just going to, oh, there's a beautiful one right here. This right here, this is going to be my solid support at 65 bucks. I'm going to go ahead and put that red line in there. I think it'll bounce off at 65. This might be a good one to short tomorrow 
and then maybe play the dead cat bounce. And here's another one right here at 69.84. And then we've got another beauty right here. I mean, they're just coming right up to the 9 EMA on the daily one minute. Or this is the 30 minute. Yeah, this ain't going to matter. And then we got that low support right here. So let's go ahead and pull this up to the daily one minute. Let's see if I see anything in here. I think I do. Right there. Yeah. I'm going to pull this up. to the daily one minute. And then we've got another little consolidated sending triangle right in here. And we're going to put that support level right there. See where it consolidated? We had that little line up. Well, that's a real strong support level there at 83 bucks. Keep that in mind. It runs right into that 100 too. That's, that's I mean, that uh, 20. Or is, that's 34, excuse me. 34 EMA. So let's call this thing out. Let's magnify this thing up, tell you where I think it's going to go. See how it's coming down right now? Let's see if it don't stop right here before I end this video at 83.02. Or I'm getting pretty close to end it anyway. We've got a low support channel right down in here for a solid buy. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in. And i got a pivot point in between it. And it could be bouncing up here pretty soon. Real, real strong about this channel right in here. It's an ascending triangle with a triple top breakout. Then we had this other one right here at 8302. So we've got a solid support between 7304 and 7648. That's got a hold. And I'm not going to, right now you could probably scalp it from off this here 34 EMA. Maybe up to right about 88, 89. Maybe. Whoop. I can fire that up. I had the wrong and then we're going to go ahead and close this video down. I want to wish everybody a great trading day next week. Please subscribe and ring that bell to our YouTube channel. Let me magnify this up just a little bit more here. Whoop, wrong way. Right about there. I don't know if it's going to hold or not. We'll just keep an eye on it. See if it doesn't pull back to this channel in the morning between 73.40 and 76.48. It's at a heck of a run. If not, it'll pull back to this low support I have here at 65.06. But we are reversing right now, and we're going to run up to this 88.95. Let's look at the tape, see what kind of buyers are coming in the trade here. Got a lot of, we've got some big sellers coming in, a little bitty buys. People are just chopping at the bits right now. Gonna see where this thing goes. So that's N K L A. Always remember, we love stocks. Please, when you get to our website, ilovestocks.com, hit that little Twitter bird icon right there, and it brings you to our Twitter page. If you have a Twitter account, please hit that follow button. We're posting alerts in there all the time. And then, on the same page, we have our stock twits pages. Mine and Vegas's, our Pinterest, and our YouTube channels. Subscribe, ring that bell. And if you have any comments, make them below. Hit that like button. And always remember, we love stocks.